Hi everyone. In this video, I am continuing the previous derivation of propagation of <coughs> TE waves in rectangular waveguide. So we have taken the TE standard equation. After that, we have assumed Hz is equal to some x into y two variable method. After that, we have taken h square is equal to a square plus b square. So after simplifying this a square plus b square in terms of x and y, we have calculated x is x and y as c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx and c3 cos ay plus c4 sin ay. So this is the final equation. Hz is equal to x into y. Now to simplify this, we should go for boundary conditions. <coughs> so boundary condition. What do you mean by boundary conditions and how many boundaries are there for your rectangular waveguide? So if you have taken a rectangular waveguide, there are four boundaries. See, it is the A breadth and this is B width. Up to here, it is nothing but A. That means up to here, from 0 to B, it is B. How many boundaries are there? There are totally 4 boundaries. This is the first boundary, bottom one. And this is second boundary. And this is third boundary. And this one is fourth boundary. Now, we are taking the electric field value along these boundaries. Because the magnetic field is existed, electric field is 0 along the boundary. Okay, I told you already along the boundary along the boundary the magnetic field is present but electric field is equal to zero that may be either ez ey or ex okay already ez is equal to zero so no need of taking ez is equal to zero now we should take ex is equal to zero and ey is equal to zero along those axes okay so first boundary condition first boundary condition so what is that first boundary condition along the x-axis Bound, first boundary condition is present over the x-axis so first boundary condition we are taking from 0 to a what is the value of y 0 y value of y is equal to 0 because we are talking along the x-axis so electric field e x electric field ex is equal to 0 yet y is equal to 0 for all x varies from 0 to a hope you understand for all x varies from 0 to a okay we have taken ex is equal to 0 when we were calculating the tm wave equations then we have taken ez is equal to 0 okay but here the case is different Electric, always we should take in the boundary conditions you should take electric field component is equal to zero okay uh, don't confuse in the previous case for tm wave if we have taken ez is equal to zero here hz is equal to zero like that you should not take because hz is not equal to zero along the boundary electric field component is only zero magnetic field is existed along the boundary okay it is not the case whether it is a tm wave or te wave it is related to the boundary now if you substitute this first boundary condition in the equation <coughs> from equation 1 from equation 1 what is that equation 1 this one hz is equal to c1 cos bx plus this one now substitute ex is equal to 0 at y is equal to 0 okay so first boundary condition if you substitute that equation becomes uh, we should know here one thing we should know here uh, the relation between ex and hz because ex component is not there in this equation okay what i have taken ex is equal to 0 ex is equal to 0 at y equal to 0 for all x varies from 0 to a this condition is okay clear but how we can substitute this ex is equal to 0 in this hz because it is hz equation and does not have any ex component in this okay so one thing we need to do i will do here only 
it is the relation between hz and ex okay so from equation one we know hz ex is equal to ex is equal to minus gamma by h square do ez by do x minus j omega mu by h square do h z by do y this is the additional thing we need to do in the case of t wave because directly we are not having the e z is equal to zero okay previously that is different it is that was easy directly we can substitute the boundary conditions in the equation but now we need to take the relation between e x and h z okay so what we know from this uh, t m wave for t e wave this is for t e for t e wave e z is equal to zero e z is equal to zero that means first equation will be zero so that is equal to only minus j omega mu by h square do h z by do y this is e x value okay now what is h z h z is already there in the equation one substitute h z in this equation one then minus j omega mu by h square do by do y of do by do y of what is h z c1 cos b x plus c2 sin b x into c3 cos b sorry cos a y plus c4 sin a y okay this is the equation of h z so apply this derivation on this see we are derivating with respect to y so first parameter is constant first factor is constant second value that becomes so therefore after derivation minus j omega mu by h square c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx it is a constant we are keeping it as it is minus see here cos a y cos a y derivation is minus sin a y again a y derivation a so a c3 sin a y plus sin derivation cos again a will come out a c4 cos a y okay now this is the equation for ex now apply first boundary condition on this okay apply first boundary condition take this as equation number 2 because this is the equation we are going to take always apply first boundary condition so ex is equal to 0 ex is equal to 0 and this one minus j omega mu by h square into along the boundary what happens ex is equal to 0 at y equal to 0 for all x varies from 0 to a so x is varying x is a variable so don't disturb this first one c1 cos vx plus c2 sin bx into minus a c3 sin a y what is the value of a y y is equal to 0 sin a into 0 plus a c4 cos a into 0 
so sin 0 0 cos 0 1 so what happens here this first equation will not be 0 because it is a variable and in the second equation what we will be having c4 is equal to 0 because the c4 cos 0 1 this one is 1 so c4 is equal to 0 so from the first boundary condition we came to a conclusion that c4 is equal to 0 therefore the final equation of hz all these boundary conditions we need to be substituted we need to substitute in the equation 1 only so hz from equation 1 from equation 1 hz is equal to c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx into c4 is equal to 0 so c3 component is only left here c3 cos a y this is the equation number 3 okay now <coughs> from second boundary condition from second boundary condition so second boundary condition where is the second boundary this is x this is y if you have taken this as the rectangular wave get this is the first boundary over this is the second boundary second boundary is ranging from 0 to b second boundary is from 0 to b so 0 to b what is the value of x x is equal to 0 and y is a variable in this case so along the boundary e y is equal to 0 okay previously that was x axis so e x is equal to 0 now it is y axis we are talking in terms of y so along this boundary e y is equal to 0 yet where x is equal to 0 and for all y varies from 0 to b for all y varies from 0 to b okay so again for this we should know the relation between e y and h z because it is e y and we have h z with us so the relation between the relation between e y and h z is e y is equal to minus gamma by h square dou e z by dou y plus j omega mu by h square dou h z by dou x but already we know for t e wave e z is equal to 0 h z is a non-zero value so that is equal to j omega mu by h square dou h z by dou x since e z is equal to 0 for t e wave So, substitute what is the latest hz, what is the latest hz dou by dou x of, what is the latest hz, c4 is gone, so this one, equation 3, <coughs> c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx into c3 cos ay. Okay, this is the <coughs> latest HZ. So, after derivation, what we will get? J omega mu H square. Equations are somewhat lengthy, but <coughs> once if you simplify uh, boundary conditions one by one, definitely they will go reduced. Okay, so after derivation with respect to X cos BX, it is minus sin BX and along with B. And again sin bx it is nothing but cos bx along with b so minus b c1 sin bx plus b c2 cos bx and the second value is constant so c3 cos a y this is e y now apply this is secondary boundary condition on this one what happens e y is equal to zero at 
x is equal to 0 by here at here only we can just imagine what happens ey is equal to 0 so 0 equal to this one minus b into c1 sin bx x is equal to 0 so sin 0 0 and this cos 0 1 so c2 value will come now okay so after substituting second boundary condition second boundary condition so what happens 0 is equal to j omega mu by h square into all the values are zeros whatever the final value will be having b c2 uh, c3 cos a y because a is a variable we cannot do anything okay now if this product is this product into this product is equal to 0 either this is 0 or this one is 0 this is not 0 because the second value is a variable therefore c2 is equal to 0 so what is the final equation now hz whatever the reduced equation is there immediately substitute it in the plate uh, again in the same equation so c1 cos bx c3 cos ay so this is the latest equation of hz this is nothing but take this as equation number how much 4 okay so till now we have discussed the two boundary conditions two more boundary conditions are there uh, boundary condition 3 and boundary condition 4 so these four, uh, these two boundary conditions and the simplification of final equation, I will explain in the next video. Thank you.